Hey guys, Kumsi here. Something different today. Welcome back to ATS. Still with John Rudas W900, newly updated W900, but this time, something a tad heavier. 40 tons to be exact on our load. This should be, yeah, a scraper, a 40 ton scraper, 9 axle low bed trailer at the back, 8x4 here. We'll see how this truck copes. Anyway, I got the idea from Epeli. Thanks a lot for the idea about doing a heavy haul. It's been a while. It's going to be a short trip, 214 miles back in Colorado. My favorite DLC still, Colorado Springs to Alamosa. Should be pretty quick or maybe not because I am pretty rusty when it comes to heavy hauls like this. Z mods Detroit Diesel 60 series. This is my engine of choice, and we do have a raised axle in there. Let's make sure that's lowered before we start. That should be the second one from the right. Let's lower that down. There you go. All right. Now all the axles are evenly loaded. All right, let's do this. Wish me luck, guys. I'll need it. Thanks for all the comments and suggestions on the previous episode, the previous video where we had a mod spotlight of this truck. Ever since then, I've been driving offline and I've been enjoying this truck immensely. You also guys gave me lots of inputs about why that shifter is that high and why some real-life truckers really set it up that way <clears throat> quite interesting inputs from you <clears throat> quite different points of view but more or less it's cool <laughs> I think that's the gist of it in some cases it may be functional but in most cases it's cool so why not oh my goodness that's heavy Make sure not to hit that guy, please don't. Phew, almost hit that fence. Good. Thank goodness the sounds of this engine is super good when it comes to low revs. So even if I'm not revving the best way possible, at least we're still hearing some good sounds here nonetheless. And yes, the dog definitely agrees for the first time ever. Normally he would just shake his head. This time, I think he's good as well. Oh man, this is nice. But yeah, I've been driving around here in Colorado over the weekend and I have been enjoying it immensely. As nice as Iberia is over in ETS2, I must say, when it comes to the best DLC overall across both games, I think Colorado still takes the cake in my books. How about you guys? Which one is your favorite DLC ever? In ATS 2, I would say that would probably be Iberia now. But if you include ATS in the mix, still having loads of fun here in Colorado. The roads are mostly clumsy proof because of the beautiful signage. There's always a warning when some uh, bend is coming up. Speed limit changes proper notifications that there is a stop sign coming up you know, things like that the simple things and look at those trees just everything looks so real all throughout anyone there no but we will still be stopping because there was a stop sign and we're going to follow the rules looking good there you might have also seen in the exterior of the truck a while ago. I'll show you that again. We have the most humongous stacks now. I picked the... Is it 9 inch? 9 inch stacks. Good look. <laughs> massive stacks, right? Massive load. Why not, right? Why not? Wow. 
how can you even top that look? It's so cool. Beautiful, right? Designs like those I really appreciate. Let me know that I should not be going to the speed limit. Rather, I should be slowing down a bit. And yeah, you just... I don't know, it's hard to explain. But I'm sure if you've driven here in these areas in Colorado, you will probably agree with me. It just looks great overall. And I'm excited to be back here thanks to John Rudas W900. I'm also waiting for Z Mods Cat C15. He's still working on that. He hasn't released it yet though. And I'm sure we are all waiting for it. Uh, I think a lot of people have been actually pressuring him. I'm, I'm imagining, especially these days, I'm imagining as soon as John Ruda released, released this update. Zmod got even more questions when he will be releasing his CAT C15 sounds. But let's not rush him guys. As always, it's ready when it's ready. Alright, so let's... Oh crap. To hit that post? Please no. Okay, good. Forgot I was hauling something. Humongously. <laughs> Bulky. For a second there. Just look at that view, right? So good. That area where we came from, there was actually a viewpoint there. Maybe I should have shown you that one, huh? But it was like a, a gold mine in Colorado Springs, I think. Quite interesting. It's really out of the way. That's okay, let's just coast here. Yeah, enjoying this truck immensely in all the config options you can do as you guys might, guys might know I'm not really the biggest uh, config option guy I usually like my trucks simple pretty straightforward nothing too fancy not too many lights just enough chromey bits in there but for this truck it's just so hard to resist I'm trying to spice it up a little more Adding just a few more chromy bits than usual. Yeah, still good, still good. And yes, we're waiting for that Cat C15. And when it's ready, you can be assured that I will be trying it out. I do have that pre ordered already. So as soon as the Z mod releases that, I will be joining you guys and driving with those sounds as well. For those who pre-ordered that engine sound from Zmod, that is a paid mod. I think four pounds, more or less, four British pounds. <coughs> he did release a sneak peek on it, so you can hear a bit of the work in progress stuff: idle sounds, uh, engine sounds, just a little bit of revving. I think nothing fancy. I think it will take a couple of weeks more at least, but yeah, we will come. In the meantime, we have these amazing DB60 sounds, so no rush, no rush. Either way, we get a winning combo right here. Yep. That stoplight was super quick, and that's fine. I think we should be entering the interstate on that next junction. And as I was driving here offline here in Colorado, I drove again through the, what was that, I-70? The one with the beautiful uh, cliffs of Colorado near, um, what's the place, Eisenhower Tunnel was it? Yeah, that area with the viewpoint, that's actually where the intro came from. Which reminds me, I have to make a new intro. Probably with the same truck, same config, just now with the new lighting. Because whenever I see that intro and whenever I see what we have in game now, my goodness, the lighting really is night and day. That's why I, I find it hard to believe. Normally, I would really say uh, um, each person has his own tastes. But I find it hard to believe that some people are saying they don't actually notice a difference in the 1.40 lighting versus the old one. 
because um, I mean I guess case in point look at the intro rewind to the the first few seconds of this video going to the beginning of this video and then look at how we have the lighting now and tell me there is no change I don't know for me it's night and day like to update that intro just so it looks great as well so it's not underwhelming anymore compared to the real thing here but I'll probably do that when I get a chance we'll see we'll see maybe I'll change the truck my favorite truck in ATS you guys remember what that is it's the Freightliner Classic XL although that might soon be replaced I don't know I'm really liking this W900, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's give it some time. I only have one major gripe in that Freightliner Classic. Well, two maybe. One is the frame rate drop. I think it's the heaviest FPS out of all of John Rudas' trucks. But in addition, the Freightliner Classic has that kind of vertical bar on the side glass, on the... Uh, side panel and that vertical bar is actually getting in the way of the mirrors so it's becoming a real hassle to sometimes look especially on the right side here you have perfect visibility the field of view is perfect and the there is no other thing blocking your way but yeah it's a different thing with the freightliner classic but other than that the interior looks so American in a way like epitome of classic American trucking for me and the look itself it's so different something you wouldn't get in vanilla so I think it's really worth it and it's my favorite truck overall in ATS it's the equivalent of the 4 series in ATS 2 for me speaking of 4 series you guys hear about the great news sure you have although it's a bit of sad news as well but I guess it makes sense RJL has officially stopped his uh, personal support of this uh, Scania trucks if you guys remember Scania RJL the iconic Scania RJL RJL himself will no longer be updating those mods but someone else is taking up the reins oh what's his name I forgot the name sorry I'm sure you guys will let you know in the comments will remind me but yeah, overall, I think it will be a different file now. I think it's a different file now, but uh, the great news is now we have the Scania RJL, which is now being updated by a different person. It's now updated officially now for 1.40. So if you remember before, we've been driving the 4 Series for the longest time, but it's only mainly a couple of fixes. A temporary fix me and Mr. German Truck made so it's only compatible with some specific parts so you don't get uh, dark mirrors you don't get dark uh, interior lighting now all the parts have been updated so you can configure as much as you want and uh, it's not going to be a big deal it will work but I think you'll have to find a different file for it like in the steam if you have the Scania RGL the steam workshop I'm not sure if it's the same file or if you have to you have to download a different one if you have more comments on that let me know but I haven't tried it myself yet although I've seen a lot of people in our discord server trying it out posting photos I might just give it a go again maybe drive around in Pomizan or Grand Utopia we do have the 4 series in there driving with Z-Mod sounds and whatnot. so yeah it's like, a, it's like a bittersweet feeling great news that Scania RJL has been updated but sad that RJL has officially stopped although I guess it's been a long time coming if you've been in the loop RJL has not been active for the longest time uh, he has been updating the truck every so often but not really not really um, it's like he, 
he's not I don't think he's playing anymore I think he was just updating for the sake of the community but not for himself anymore and I can only imagine how uh, disheartening that is how uh, yeah, it's not exciting at all right you're not interested in the game at all but you need to update it because people are relying on you it's not a good feeling and he's been updating his trucks for the longest time with that kind of point of view from what I know and now he has finally called it quits so he's no longer going to update his trucks he's uh, retired for all intents and purposes but it's great that he passed on the files and the authorization to someone else so the greatness can continue because in terms of customization options Scania's RGL or RGL Scania rather it's going to be a tough one to beat even if it is literally years old so it was great for its time and it's still great now oh my goodness that's going to be a very skimpy turn looking good there though I'm looking at my right side mirror okay good Ooh, train yeah in the, the occasional train that's passing by just adds so much to the entire like aliveness of the world it's like you really feel that you're driving in a world where people are moving about and it's not just you and the mountains you know you have police cars you have normal cars other trucks and then you have trains all going about their own lives super cool why am i in fifth gear no wonder it felt so heavy there you go wrong range my bad all right so far so good let's not jinx it though I do like having these heavy haul episodes from time to time remind me a bit of how different the feeling can be because although we might be side driving the same truck but with a different setup with a different load with a different trailer it's like an entirely new ball game the way you turn is so much different when you have a trailer this size it's cool it's a good reminder can even do a special transport again eventually I just realized I don't think I've ever done any special transport in Colorado before though that being said I'm not the biggest fan of special transport I like how customized they are and I, how li I like how you are made such like a VIP that you don't even need to follow the traffic lights and you have your own escorts but it's a bit like you're very limited when it comes to the route and you're li very limited when it comes to speed so it's a bit it's not my favorite aspect but i guess we can try it out for variety from time to time it is a good feature of the game to change the pace instead of driving fast and uh, far distances we drive slow with finesse maybe that's why i don't like it because i don't have finesse at all <laughs> we'll see how that works <laughs> but uh, yeah maybe eventually we can switch it out we can try it again uh, yeah, just look at this lighting right I don't know this at the end of the day a taste thing but I'm yeah, really liking it until now I've been driving with this kind of lighting for let's see since when was 140 beta out I, I think since Feb so let's say March, April, May, almost three months now. I've been driving with this kind of lighting and still I haven't been craving for graphics mods. That just says something that says a lot about how beautiful I find this lighting, right? And it might it's definitely a taste thing, but even if you don't like it, I'm sure you noticed something, right? So I can understand it that you don't like it because of taste. But I can't understand that you don't notice anything that's different. <clears throat> Left lane ends. Okay, good. We're in the correct lane here. Not sure if 
we're on the correct range though getting pretty heavy in here it's really struggling my engine 3 p.m nice analog clock there turbo boost all the dials i just like it the more dials the better the more classic it feels okay, some screws here Yeah, in this mod specifically, in John Rudus W900, as you guys have been saying, it's rudimentary, right? <laughs> if it's John Ruda, then it's a quality content. It's going to be worth what you pay for it. But yeah, my main gripe, I guess my only gripe, is that flickering edge of that mirror, that glass. It's been irking me a bit, yeah, you can see it. I think it's flickering because it has a reflection, and it's reflecting out of outside the only that edge there but it doesn't look nice that reflection at the edge because it feels like it's flickering even though in reality technically it's not really flickering it's reflecting i guess if anyone has found a fix for that if you can choose a config option that changes that or i don't know let, let me know and if you have close contact with john luda Please let him know as well, point him to my video if he needs an illustration because I think this truck is like 99% there that remaining 1% would be that flickering, that reflecting thing 50, okay we're good, but yeah hope you guys are enjoying the trip so far just loving these areas all the speed limit changes and how much of a heads up they give you right even hauling this humongous load right here having a hard time slowing down can still get all the heads up we need to a proper turn a proper slowing down yep that's where we're delivering this uh, where are you going? Where do you want this? Hopefully you won't want me to reverse this guy. Otherwise it's game over. To stay here on the opposite lane because we need all the space we can get. That's the one. Ah, there it is. I see it. Oh, crap. How do you even... I don't think that's possible with this load. To be honest. Hmm, I have my doubts about this one, guys. I have my doubts about this one. This is a default prefab, so I'm guessing they should have measured this to fit all kinds of fun fix because this one, I'm the one I'm hauling right now, it's a default trailer, a default default low bed low boy whichever and i chose the biggest one the most number of articulations the most number of axles that's how we ended up with nine axles and triple or double articulation points i oh, love that sound okay i think that should be okay if the game is a bit forgiving it should work i think Let's go outside and see. Well, it doesn't look bad, right? Kinda ish. Man, those sounds are amazing. And yeah, we didn't have trouble hauling this very powerful engine. I think 619 horsepower. Uh, I can't remember the the torque though. There we go. Phew. It's getting scared there. Scare me like that. Good. Alright. I thought this should be heavy. Two out of nine. Good. Sh quick short trip. But uh, just glad we managed to do it. Very challenging with this kind of trailer. Anyway, look forward to more videos with this W900, guys. We'll see if we do more heavy haul or maybe do with the a typical box trailer next time we'll see 
as always comments are more than welcome we'll be waiting for them thanks for watching have a nice day clemcy trucking bye bye Thank you.